Hey guys, so today we are making one of the most requested cakes on this channel by my cousin who is little and he wants me to make it. So today we're making it. We're making a baby shark. Baby shark. I think it's a show or a video game. I don't know. I'm not hip with it, but he loves it so much. So that's why we're doing it. I think this baby shark looks cute and scary and fluffy because I modeled this after the baby shark plush. So let's get started. My name's Barbara Walters and you're watching 2020. Now to create this cake, I started with a Funfetti cake because the colors, that's why. And I baked it in a 5 by 12 inch cake pan. Is that 5 by 12 inch? I don't know. Let's, let's make sure. 11 by 7. 11 by 7 cake pan. I bought this at the 99 cent store and it's really thin so you have to layer three pans so that your cake doesn't burn. Now I placed my baby shark template on top and I just cut out the baby shark shape. It's very simple, it looks just like a teardrop. Now to create the baby shark's head, I am using a half dome cake pan. It's six inches. I just placed it on top and then I used a paring knife to carve out and round out the baby shark shape. You know, I wanna make sure that the dome cake matches the rest of it. Then I started to carve away the baby shark's tail. This is a flat cake, but I didn't want it to be completely flat. I still wanted the rounded shape of all the baby shark features. Now I took the first two layers of cake off and I actually screwed up a little bit on the side. You see how it's crumbling? But that's okay, because I'm gonna fix that with some extra cake. Place it on the side, look at that. And cut away the extra. Voila, brand new cake. Now I make a whole bunch of animals on this show. They're very cute, most of them. Some of them are creepy, but a lot of them are cute. If you wanna see more of my animal creations, there are links for you at the end of the video. I'm gonna add buttercream in between each layer of cake and I'm actually using a lemon meringue buttercream. Can you believe it? No, you don't, I'm too lazy. You guys know it's vanilla. Maybe it's not even vanilla, maybe it's just sweet cream because I didn't put any flavoring. It's also a very good possibility. Added buttercream into the middle of my cake and then I added the top layer. Now I'm gonna add some more buttercream in between the top layer and the dome cake just so that it gets sticky. Then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat. This shape is really easy to create and I think that if you alter it just a little bit, especially with like the nose features, you can totally get a dolphin out of this. Or maybe like that Starkiss tuna guy, you know, from the canned tuna commercials. You could probably create him too. Now after I gave my cake a crumb coat, I placed it into the fridge to set and I watched some Netflix. I was watching this show called Tidy Up with Marie Kondo. Is that how you say it? That show actually changed my entire wardrobe. I have a lot of clothes. I, well, I used to have a lot of clothes and I realized that I don't need any of them so I simplified a lot. I gave away a lot, sent the rest to back to the homeland. I didn't have any sort of attachment to most of them and I realized that they were just clothes so why not just simplify your look? And I went with classic and simple and I, I love it. This is like my everyday look. I have so many of these white shirts from Target and Walmart and then I bought five of these jean jackets from Calvin Klein. <laughs> I like Calvin Klein jean jackets, so I bought the same one so that it's just like every day, bro. This year I'm gonna live my life by the Michael Scott rule, which is to kiss, K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. And that's what I'm doing. So you're gonna see this in every video now. And also if you see me on the street, I'm gonna be wearing the same thing. <laughs> After I took my cake out of the fridge, I covered the entire cake with a baby shark blue fondant. It's kind of like a cobalt blue. Oh, it's like a, a brilliant blue. You could even go like deep river, but I think brilliant looks better. So I say it's brilliant blue or like a cobalt. Just covered my entire cake and I didn't want the bottom to be flat. So I'm just tucking it under with some fondant tools. Yes, look at that. I like the way that looks when you tuck it under. 
and just rip away the extra and then just tuck some more fondant underneath to get a more clean look. Now I'm going to separate the head from the body using some fondant tools. Then I'm going to add a triangle of white fondant. It's got to be straight. It kind of covers half of the face. And I'm actually going to cut away the extra fondant right where the body meets the bottom of the head. So we got the perfect head shape. Now I'm going to add another triangle of fondant to get the body of the shark. And then using some more brilliant blue fondant or cobalt if you want to be simple. Don't be simple you guys, okay? Don't be basic. I'm going to give my shark its fins. I put one fin up so it looks like it's waving. I love it when little animals wave. I think it's so cute. Big animals also, like that grizzly bear that's like waving at people at the zoo. Although he's probably like really sad because he's not free to live in the wild. We took that away from him so that we can... <laughs> oh my god. God, if I just go off on tangents, I just get really sad. <laughs> now I'm adding some white circles of fondant to create his eyes. And they're not completely round. They're just, they're a little oval. Kind of. I stretched them out just a little bit to get the perfect shape. Then some black circles of fondant to create the pupils and two small circles to create some catch lights. Now I'm using black fondant to create his nostrils and then I added this huge baby shark like grin, smile, showing all his teeth. And hola, my baby shark cake was complete. Yo, this looks so like childish, doesn't it? The colors are so bright and vibrant. The expression on his face is so like happy, excited. And also he wants to kill you, but also he's a baby. So he doesn't want to kill you. Yeah. Now I'm curious how many of you watched the baby shark show or play the game <laughs> i don't know <laughs> do you love it as much as my cousin does because he was given a glow in reviews but also i was zoned out that's why i don't know if it was talking about a video game or a television show now there are a lot of different colored baby sharks and i was gonna create them in cake form but then i realized i have photoshop so here's the pink one and the yellow one and the green one and also the grandma one is that a grandma i think so oh they're like a whole family now i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments what other cakes you'd like to see me make and have you seen the tidy up with marie kondo right if you have let's talk about it because i'm curious about how many people actually affected it really changed how i fold my clothes how i wear my clothes i got rid of a whole bunch of stuff in my room because of that show i hope you guys enjoyed this i love you i will see you very soon peace